So William Ruto just continues to get it wrong. Just continues to make a mess. Continues to hurt young, vulnerable, unemployed African youth. Unemployed African women. Unemployed African men. He just continues to not understand the damage that he's doing. I don't understand. Can you not educate yourself on the things that you're talking about? Like, he'll stand on this podium and talk about selling our youth, you know, or as he says, you know, creating job opportunities, literally selling our youth to the Saudis and not understanding the damage that he's creating. On December 15. In yet another controversial announcement by William Ruto, 2,500 skilled laborers will be sent to work in Saudi Arabia. This is due to a mounting unemployment crisis at home and pressure to secure foreign currency. It's always about this foreign currency. Instead of creating opportunities at home in our own countries, we are opting to sell our youth for this foreign currency. Wow, Africa, where have we gone? It is just days after his deputy, Rigathi Gachu, Gachuo, urged the Kenyan diaspora to stay abroad as the country has no jobs and the government continues to rely on remittance. This year, Kenyans had sent home $349 million, according to the Central Bank of Kenya. Earlier, Kenyan's government said it would send workers to Israel in the steppes of Malawi. So as I reported last week, you know, Kenya is also doing what Malawi is doing. Because the kwacha is so low in Malawi, Malawi needs foreign currency. So Kenya was like, okay, we're going to do that too, you know. Not thinking about our youth, not thinking about the damages, not thinking about what these people are going to experience over there, how they're being treated. Like, uh, these people, uh, you know, this is, this is just, it's getting worse. Our countries are getting worse. These leaders are, are just continue to not care. We need to save ourselves, apparently, because nobody else is looking out for us. Nobody else. The barter implication remains unaddressed. Labor and human rights abuse against Africans have been well documented in the Parisian Gulf region and no safeguards seem to have put into place. African people are getting abused in Saudi Arabia. Many are being hurt. Many are being killed. Many are being essayed. You know, in a lot of these quote-unquote employment, this is modern slavery at its best. And our leaders don't care. Our leaders don't care. Our leaders don't care that we're getting beaten. Our leaders don't care that young, innocent African women are thinking, oh, this is a great opportunity. I can do, I can do that. And they're being harassed. And they're being hurt. And once they call on their country, hey, come Come get us out of this mess. No one listens. How many people have we seen cry on media that this is what's going on? This is how we're being treated in the Saudi Arabian region. This is how we're being treated. And no one cares. No one sends help. No one does anything. Additionally, the opportunity cost of the developing labor only to export means a manpower shortage for continental needs as kenya flagged off nurses to europe again kenya sent nurses to europe you know displaying it as oh it's job opportunity oh it's job opportunity (sighs) the town of Nevasha reported in july that 20 children death have been occurred each month in a hospital Africa has a long way to go before development, and it it is unclear how exporting the best of its talent will bring the gap. Have a watch and let us know what you think. Anywho, that was a write-up by African Streams. Oh my gosh. It's so crazy, and it's so sad. You know, this is going to create a gap in our economies. 
because we're sending off the best of the best. This is our youth, you know, and we're doing nothing to nothing to keep our people in our countries. Things are getting worse and worse. And this is honestly humiliating. And it's so sad for the people who have to agree to these quote unquote opportunities because when they're not, you know, and what do African youth have? You know, they cry to the government and nothing is being changed. It's truly sad to see. It, it's so sad to see, you know, that these people have to say yes to modern slavery because there's no opportunities at home. You know, I go to a African university, I get my degree, I do all of these things, I be a good citizen, and yet there's no opportunities for me. What do I have left? I have a freaking president that is saying, yeah, guys, go to Saudi Arabia. And what? And get hurt? And then cry to the media? And then nobody comes to save me? This is sad. We need to save ourselves because, Jesus Christ, this is so sad. It, it, it continues just, it, it's, we need to do better. Anyways, I want to hear your thoughts in the comments section because I have no more. I have no more to say. I'm just, my heart hurts. That's all I have to say. My heart hurts for these young, desperate youth.